All right. Um, thanks for checking out my video. This is going to be a uh, top 50 books of my collection. Um, been kind of following the YouTube videos on these lately. Um, a lot of my um, the YouTubers that I subscribe to um, also showed their top 50 books, so I'm super happy to show mine. Um, did mine a little bit different where half of the books that I'm showing, half of them are going to be raw. So the first 25 books I show from uh, number 25 to 50 are going to be raw. And then the top 25 books are all going to be slapped. Um, I try to put them in, in order. Um, I like lists, so I try to put them in order of my favorite books. So these are my top favorite books from number 50 all the way to number 100. So I uh, hope you like them. So let's get to it. This is number 50. So the first 25 books I'm showing are raw. Probably gonna split this uh, video into two. So this is part one of uh, of two videos. So this is the f number fifty, Ghost Rider number one. This is uh, first Ghost Rider in the solo series and first uh, appearance of Son of Satan. Really nice Bronze Age book. Um, this one's probably like a mid grade. Um, I'm, I'm going to press this pretty soon because it has a little bit of water damage towards the front. But you can't even tell it's in Mylar, but really nice copy of that. But this book was recently acquired, actually. Uh, recently acquired. You're going to see a lot of those that I recently acquired in a, one collection. So that was one of them. Uh, a lot of Bronze Age keys in that collection. So the next book, number 49, is ASM 238. This is the first appearance of Hobgoblin. Um, happy to have this book. It's probably like a mid-grade. Um, I love this cover. Um, you're going to see a lot of the similar books in this collection. A lot of ASM, a lot of X-Men, uh, because those are my two favorite titles to collect. So working on a run on ASM, I already have a full uh, run of X-Men. So maybe a future video. So next book, number 48, is Tales of Suspense, number 49. So this is the first crossover of the X-Men into a uh, different series, which is Tales of Suspense. Uh, this is an awesome cover, like just Angel fighting with Iron Man. Classic cover of Tales of Suspense, one of my favorite covers in that series. So that is number 48. So the next one is number 47. It is going to be ASM 46. It's kind of weird. It's like close numbers. Number 47 is 46. ASM 46, first appearance of the Shocker. Um, really nice mid-grade copy on this one. It's probably a mid to high. I would say a 6.0 at least. Um, very nice colors on it. You guys can see it. really nice colors on it. Um, yeah, I'm happy to have this book as well. That was number 47. This is number 46. 46 is newly acquired Journey into Mystery. I did an unboxing this a little while back, um, but it is Journey into Mystery number 109, where Magneto, um, it's a crossover where Magneto comes out and picks up the Milner. Awesome cover. Well, Magne Magneto is one of my favorite villains, so Gotta have this book. I think this is one of the only Journey of Mystery books I have too, so uh, nice copy. So we are number 45. So 45 is ASM 41. Uh, first appearance of Rhino. I would say this is like a 5.0. Uh, nice looking book here. Yeah. Three Spidey fans have a lot of those. All right, number 44 is Fantastic, 40, Fantastic Four 45. This is the first appearance of the Inhumans. Really nice cover. Um, probably one of my favorite, um, my favorite uh, covers of Fantastic Four. They just look pretty awesome on this cover here, drawn by Jack Kirby. Great book there. Very popular one. So that was number 44. Now we're on 43. 43 is Amazing Spider-Man number 33. Um, 
great Steve Ditko cover. Uh, everyone knows this one's just a classic one. No first appearances, but just awesome cover. Um, pretty good grade on this one, too. So, yeah, happy with that one. All right. So we are on now number 42, which is X-Men 100. And you can see this is a signed copy. X-Men 100, signed by Chris Claremont and Stan Lee. Super happy with that. I don't have that many signature books, but this is definitely one of my favorites. All right. Now on number 41. This is Iron, uh, Marvel premiere number 15, first appearance of Iron Fist. Uh, this was one of the ones also that I got in that one big collection that I acquired. So I'm super happy about this book. Decent grade too. So that one was number 41. <clears throat> now we're on to number 40. Amazing Spider-Man number 31, first appearance of Gwen, St Gwen Stacy, and also Harry Osborn. This is a lower grade copy, I mean, you can see kind of like someone put a, like a cup on there, so it's kind of like stained, like right here. But, still presents okay. One day maybe upgrade this one, but I'm happy to have it for now, 31. Uh, ASM 31. So that was number 40. Now we're on that 39. So 39, we have the newly acquired, I did an unboxing on this one too, Amazing Spider-Man number 18. Steve Ditko cover. Number 18 is the first appearance of Ned Leeds, which later becomes uh, Hobgoblin. This one has very nice colors. As you can see, there's also a date stamp. I love the date stamp because it's September. I, I that's my birth month, so September 1964. So, great date stamp. Um, super bright color. Alright, so the next book that we are on is number 38. So, we're on book number 38 in my collection, which is Amazing Spider Man number 17. Look at how gorgeous this book is. It's just a great just a great cover with just amazing colors on it. Um, I would say this is like a mid-grade, probably like a 5.0. Uh, second appearance of Green Goblin. Um, I was trying to look to see, somebody mentioned that this might have been the first appearance of his glider, but I, I'm not sure. Uh, I think it is though. But yeah, great copy of number 17. Oh, Really working on uh, number numbers 1 through 20 right now, so got a little bit. That's still a while to go, though. So now we are on number 37, which is Uncanny X-Men number 129. Great book to have if you're an X-Men fan. Two big first appearances in this one, which is uh, Kitty Pride and Emma Frost. So, and it's a great um, John Byrne cover. Um, just with a, a lot of the expert on the cover and two big first appearances. So this is like a mid-grade. Nice copy. All right. So that one. So now we're on number 36, which is ASM number 28. This is the first appearance of Molten Man. Um, not, it's probably a lower grade, but this one you can definitely see a lot of uh, spine spine ticks on there. When this is an all black cover, so it's kind of tough to get in a higher grade, but I'm still happy to have this one. Um, also have these clear backing boards to show the back too. It's kind of nice. Uh, yeah. When I purchased that one, the collector included it with the clear backing board, so that's kind of nice. So that one was number 36. Now we're on number 35. We've got 10 more books to go, I believe. We're on there. We've got X-Men number 14. One of my favorite books in this um, in this run, um, first appearance of the Sentinels, just gorgeous Jack Kirby cover. I just love how uh, the Sentinels drawn in this one, and Sentinels on the cover, first appearance, just great, great book. 
So that one is number 35. Now we're on number 34, which is, you can't have number 14 without number 12. First appearance of the Juggernaut. This one, number 12. Um, I have a couple copies of this one. All It's relatively low grade. I want to get a higher grade one day, but, um, you know, I was working on getting the, the run, so this is, it's, it's really nice. Nice copy to have still. All right. So now we're on number 34. No, we're on number 33 now. That was number 34. Number 33 is X-Men number three. So this is a low grade copy. You can see there's a missing chunk right here. Uh, detached cover. But still, I got this part of a lot. Got a great deal on it. Um, so I'm still super happy to have it. First appearance of the blob. Alright, so that was number 33. Now I have number 32, which is X-Men number 2. Um, lower grade copy, but it is the very second uh, second appearance of the X-Men and, and Magneto. Sorry, not, not Magneto. This is the first appearance of the Vanisher, second appearance of the X-Men. So all the X-Men you see in the cover, so still a great book to have. Huge X-Men fan, that's my favorite series overall, my favorite group characters. Uh, some tape on there, so definitely a low grade copy, but fills the run. Alright, so we're getting down to, uh, let's see, we're on number 31, so we're getting down to the last six books. And number 31 is... Silver Surfer number four. Oh man, this is a gorgeous cover. I mean, everybody knows this cover when they see it. It's not a key book, but it is an iconic cover. Um, Thor battling Silver Surfer. Uh, just also a book that I just recently acquired from that collection that I got. So this was included in there, so I was super happy about that. Nice, nice book, mid grade. All right, five more to go, I believe. So this is number 30, five more raw ones. Number 30 is Amazing Spider-Man 300. First appearance of Venom, Todd McFarlane, Todd McFarlane cover. Everybody pretty much knows this one. Um, probably the top book of the Copper Age besides Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I think this is the top. Awesome book. All right, so we are in number 29. So number 29 is going to be Amazing Spider-Man number 13, first appearance of Mysterio. Um, probably like a 4.0 4 copy. Uh, I just love the cover on this one. That one was recently acquired as well. All right, a lot of books of these raw books I feel like I've recently acquired. So the next book I have is number 28, which is Fantastic Four, number 52, which is first appearance of Black Panther. So I was looking at this book for quite a while and um, didn't want to pay too much for it. I, I was kind of, on, I had my budget in mind already, so I thought this was a very well presented copy. So I jumped on this one. I'm glad we, I'm glad I have it. Alright, so we are now on number 27. So we got three, two more books to go. 27 and then 26. So this number 27 is Amazing Spider-Man number 9. First appearance of Electro. So um, recently got this as part of a lot. I got this one with the number 13 first appearance of um, Mysterio in the same uh, lot. Number 17 and 18. All four books was in the same lot. I, I uploaded a video of that unboxing. You guys want to check that out? Yeah, this is a nice copy too. Uh, I like a 4.0. Good colors. All right, that was number 27. So the last book, the last raw book I have for part one, 
Number 26 is, and I just recently got this too, Amazing Spider-Man number 14. First appearance of the Green Goblin. Oh man, I've been looking for this book for a while. Um, always out of my price range, so been waiting. I was patiently waiting. Um, you know, not the best condition. There is a piece missing there, but otherwise, so there's a piece missing here. Otherwise, everything else is complete. All the all the pages are there. Everything's intact. Um, colors still present really well on this. So I am super happy to have this. Um, yeah, that is part one of my top 50 comics. Next part, next video that I will be releasing is my top 50 sla uh, top 25 slabs, which will complete the top 50 in my collection. So thanks for checking this out. Make sure to check out part two, and I will see you guys there. See you later.